it is by Shakuntala Devi. This method is originally given by Shakuntala Devi and by which if you are given any particular date in the calendar, since the, our Gregorian calendar is instituted, if you are given any date in the calendar, you will be calculating which day of the week it was. Whether it was a Monday, whether it was a Saturday, you will be able to find out with the help of this powerful system. Now what you need to do to remember this powerful system friends is that you have to remember a simple table. The, remember, uh, the table is very very simple. You just have to remember some particular figures for months, for years and for days and you will be able to calculate which date, uh, which day of the week the particular date was. So let's have a look at Shakuntala Devi's method for calculating the day of the week for any particular date. I'm going to show you the table now. Let's have a look at what comes on your screen. Friends, you can see that you have a month table. I'm giving you a month table and then you can see some figures next to a particular month. So say January has 0, February has 3, March has 3, April 6, May 1, June 4, July 6, August 2, September 5, October 0, November 3 and December 5. So if you just go through the numbers, it's 0336-1462-5035. You just have to remember the table, the numbers and the thing will come automatically. Just remember the sequence of numbers. Divide it in groups of 4. Say, say the first group is 0336, the second group is 1462 and 5035, the last group. So say it in your minds, repeat it, 0336, 1462, 5035. With this, you will be able to remember the month table. Now, I'm going to show you the year table. Let us have a look at the year table. You see that I have given some years and it goes after every four year from 1900 to 1904, 1904, 1908, 1912, there are multiples of four, and 1916, 1920, and 1924. So if you remember this table, which I'm going to show you the extended applications of this, uh, you will be able to re you will be able to calculate which year figure it was. Now in the year table, there's something exciting. Now uh, this table repeats. So you have 1924. Now after 24, you have 28, 1928. Now 1928, the figure besides 1928 will be zero because 1928 will start from here. This table is a cycle of 28 years. So you see that 1924 is here, 1928 will be 0, 1932 will be 5, 1936 will be 3, 1940 will be 1 and it will go on. This table is for 28 years so if you find, have to find which number will be very fast so you have 24 and 28 will be uh, the next year and if you have to say the cycle is 28 years 1952 will be 2 again so 24 the cycle repeats after 28 years so uh, your uh, uh, year figure will be 2. Now I'm going to show you the day figure. Let's have a look. The day table. Sunday stands for 0, Monday stands for 1, Tuesday stands for 2, Wednesday for 3, Thursday for 4, Friday for 5 and Saturday for 6. This is your day table friends which you have to find, you will come at this figure and then this will correspond to the day figure. Uh, also you have to remember is the century figure. The century table I am giving you for the 21st century we have minus 1, for the 20th century I have 0, for the 19th century I have 2, for the 18th century I have 4 and the 17th century I have 6. So friends, you just have to remember this table. Uh, I'll just go back to the year table again and then I, I'll go to, I'm going to show you a way to remember this. So you have say 0531642, remember it in groups of 4. So you have the first group 0531, say it in your mind 0531 
and then you have 6, 4, 2. So I go, again go to the month table, so you have first group 0336, 1462, 5035. Then the year table you have 0531, 642. If you just repeat, remember it in the sequences of 4, you will be able to do this. So month table once again for you, 0336, 1462, 5035. The year table, 0531, 642. So let's have a look at a sum now. Let's have a look at a sum. And how do we do it? Say I give you a date. Say 9th April 1932. 9th April 1932. Pay very close attention. This is very important. What we first have, we first have is a date figure. We first have is a date figure. So you have 9. Now whenever you have a date figure, you reduce it by the nearest multiple of 7. You reduce it by the nearest multiple of 7. So you have 9, you reduce it by the nearest multiple of 7 which is 7. You reduce it by 7 and it gives you 2. So date figure is 9 minus 7 gives you 2. Month figure. You see that the month is April. You see that the month is April and if you look at the chart again, if you look at the chart and the table again, you see that besides April, you have 6. You have 6 besides April. So you go back to the month figure and in the month figure you write 6. In the month figure you write 6. Now we have the year figure. Now we write the year figure. You see that the year is 1932. The year is 1932. And if you see the year table, if you see the year table, you see 24. Besides 24, we have the year figure, which is 2. Then after 24, you have 28 is 0. 32 will be here and it will give me 5. 32 will give me 5. So we have 5 as the year figure. Now comes the century figure. Now comes the century figure. 1932 friends is 20th century. 1932 friends is 20th century. And if you go back to the table again, if you go back to the table again, you will see that besides 20th century, you have 0. You have 0. So we go back and write 0. So we add the column up, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 0 is 13. Now whenever we get a figure, we reduce it by the nearest multiple of 7, which is less than the number. So 13, the nearest multiple of 7, which is less than 13, is 7, and we are left with 6. Now 6, if we go back to the table, 6, if we go back to the table, we have Saturday. Six friends is a Saturday. I am explaining this to you once again. I am explaining this to you once again. You have the date as 9th April 1932. You have the date as 9th April 1932. So you first have the date figure. Now you arrive at the date figure by subtracting the nearest multiple of 7 from 9. The nearest multiple of 7 from 9 is 7. So 9 minus 7 you get a date figure which is 2. Now you come at the month figure. So if you look at the chart, if you look at the chart, next to April is 6. Next to April is 6. So your month figure is 6. Your year figure friends is 5. If you look at the chart again, if you look at the chart you have 24, then you have 28 and 32. Next to 32 is 5. So your year figure is 5. Your century figure, friends, if you go look at the chart again, will be 0. Your century figure will be 0. You total it up and you have 13 minus 7. You reduce the nearest multiple of 7 from uh, of 13. 13 minus 7 gives you 6. 6, if you refer, it is a Saturday. 6 is a Saturday. Now, friends.